At the end of Point Loma, the monument of Juan Cabrillo stands overlooking San Diego Bay, which he discovered in 1542. Towering above the Fort Rosecrans National Cemetery is the USS Bennington Monument, honoring the 62 sailors lost in the tragic 1905 explosion at Dead Man's Point in San Diego Harbor. In Point Loma, a future champion sailor marks the street entrance to the world-renowned San Diego Yacht Club. Surrounded by a tropical forest, the abstract sculpture Ocean Song marks the entrance to Shelter Island. At the southern tip of Shelter Island, the Pacific Spirit greets everyone entering San Diego Bay. Pacific Rim Park marks the bay entrance of Shoreline Park that extends the length of Shelter Island. The Tuna Man Memorial Sculpture on Shelter Island honors all those who caught the fish that made San Diego the tuna capital of the world for over 50 years. Nestled in the San Diego International Airport's Terminal 2 is a whimsical group of air travelers all trying to figure out where in the airport they are to go next. At the entrance to Harbor Island is the There's Hope Complex, which salutes cancer survivors and all those fighting the dreaded disease. Minnie the Mermaid stands at the end of Harbor Island, surveying her San Diego Bay domain. The award-winning San Diego County Administration Center hosts the city's own Guardian of the Water, overlooking the Laurel Street Roadstead. The children's paradise that is Waterfront Park features wading pools, splash pools, and artwork to keep visitors of all ages entertained. Home Plate at Lanefield Park marks the exact spot of home plate in the stadium the AAA San Diego Padres played before Major League Baseball came to San Diego. The unique ceramic tiles created for the 1915 Panama Exhibition still grace the Santa Fe Station's waiting room. The USS San Diego remains vigilant in guarding the USS Midway and the entrance to Tuna Park. The KISS sculpture shows the joy of the country for the peace achieved after the long years of World War II. Bob Hope the legend most responsible for U.S. troops' high morale through several 20th century wars stands in front of his beloved soldiers in Tuna Park's Bob Hope Memorial. San Diego embraces the classical arts as shown by the statue Morning outside Seaport Village in Embarcadero Park North. At Petco Park, the memorial of Tony Gwynn, the greatest San Diego Padre of all time, is at the park at the park. Told in sculpture and plaque, Cesar Chavez Park tells the complete story of the tuna industry and its people. The unique murals of San Diego's Hispanic community began in Chicano Park below the Coronado Bridge and now appear throughout Barrio Logan. Pepper Park, where the sweet water meets San Diego Bay, boasts its own whimsical view of the world. National City's Pier 32 art pays homage to the ships and sailors that call San Diego home. The South Bay's San Diego Wildlife Refuge preserves the ancient shore and marsh life. Chula Vista's Bayside Park preserves that same life in sculpture. The grandest artwork of all, the city of San Diego itself, in all its glory, as seen from Bayview Park in Coronado. These and many other sites nestled next to the San Diego Bay are discussed in detail in Don Lake's book, One Lap Around San Diego Bay, available in print and electronic form, online and at your favorite bookstore. Please visit orofinopressllc.com or dlakewriter.com for more.